Man, guys, I don't know if I can do this today. I'm just feeling a little off. Maybe I need like a fourth or fifth coffee. I don't know. Something's not right. I just don't feel like I, I can't get that KJ vibe going today. Why? You're not KJ. Oh. Guys, you're right. Sometimes you need that. Sometimes you need to hear something that you need to know. Something that just out of that corner. Sometimes you hear something that you really needed to know, something that's, that's that inspiration, something that you already knew that you need to know. Well, today, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you a little bit something about some carbon fiber rims, something that you need to know about why these make you faster, and it's probably not what you thought. So come on in. All right, guys, so today we're gonna teach you something. We started off telling you on the intro that we're gonna talk a little bit about carbon fiber rims, which we're going to. But before we get to carbon fiber rims, we need to talk a little bit about alloy rim. And this is what 90% of you are riding. You've got an alloy rim on your bike. Most alloy rims have a sidewall. Some of the entry-level bikes are a single wall. A good higher end alloy rim is gonna be a double wall like this. And a good double wall alloy rim like this is gonna last you. It's gonna be a good riding rim. You're gonna feel strong. It's gonna be something that's gonna give you some durability. Now, people have been starting to evolve to do a disc style version. They've been front specific, rear specific and they've tried to advance alloy rim technology to get a little bit higher. So these rear specific alloy rims that were always done, where you could run it on the rear of your bike, the front of your bike, you've had the brake track, didn't really matter what you were doing with it. These typically were weighing in anywhere between 12 to 16 ounces for the rim. When people started doing these front specific alloy rims, some people tried to get them down to nine ounces. The nine ounce rims folded right away. Everybody kind of settled in at about 11 ounces and you've got a pretty decent alloy rim. Now, most of these rims now are a pin alloy rim. So you're gonna have a seam. Some rims are a welded rim. The problem with a welded rim is when they weld the rim in, you're gonna get a little bit of a flat spot. It needs to have the sides machined. You need to machine out the weld just so that you have a nice clean area for a brake track, for the tubeless area. So most of the good rims that are out there right now are a pinned rim. A welded rim is out there as well, but you've got all these different things. About five, six years ago, carbon fiber rims entered into the market. And everybody, their first thought on a carbon fiber rim is that, hey, carbon fiber is lighter. We've gotta go with a lighter carbon fiber rim. And a lighter carbon fiber rim, that was never the purpose, that was never the reasoning for why we built a carbon fiber rim. The reason we built a carbon fiber rim is to build a rim that's gonna be stronger, it's gonna stay true longer, it's gonna be stiffer, it's going to accelerate faster. It's going to hold straighter in the turns. It makes it easier to do a tubeless rim. So this way there are no seams to machine. There are no seams to weld. They lace up easier. They stay true longer. They hold tension better. They don't deform like an aluminum rim does. With these, you do have rear specifics, front specifics. So you can either get them like in our slasher rim we have it where it has a brake track or it'll be without a brake track. This one is a more conventional style that everybody's doing. This is our economy style. You'll see most of the rims that are on the carbons that are in the market are this style of rim where it's a center lace. By doing the center lace, it's a very common style of lacing pattern. It was originally designed to be a recumbent wheel, so it was not designed to be BMX specific. When we did our RCR rim, our RCR rim was made specifically for BMX racing. It has a very wide stance. It's a bird cage style of design, so that by doing that, you've got a center channel, so it almost gives you two separate rims. It's a double wall design. It holds true, it holds strong. So again, 
people are always going, oh, wait, wait, wait. I mean, this rim here, you're looking at 310 grams, so you're a little over 10 ounces. This rim for a rear is equal, actually a little bit lighter than what this alloy rim is that people are typically running for the front. But this rim in carbon, regardless of the manufacturer, a good carbon rim will last you probably four or five alloy rims. Is there a cost factor? Yeah, there's a cost factor. You end up having a greater benefit for it. Now with carbon fiber rims, we're also seeing a ton of carbon fiber rims coming over that are unbranded. Everybody's going over and shopping on some of those Chinese websites and they're just picking up a rim and saying, no, oh, I'm gonna do it. Most of those, they're a stock recumbent style rim. They don't know what carbon fiber is in it. They don't know what resin's in it. They don't know the molding technique. So when you're shopping for a carbon fiber rim, whether it be ours or another brand, make sure that you're getting the highest grade carbon, you're getting a good high compactation, you're getting a good resin, and you're getting something that's built for quality. You'll notice that there's a big variance in pricing. I mean, unfortunately, our slasher rims, these things, $239 retail. It's an economy carbon rim. It does use a good Torre carbon, T700. It doesn't use the T700S that our RCRs do. This uses a stock open mold that almost everybody else does. Well, the RCR, this is our own proprietary mold. It's high compactation, it's double channel. You've got a lot more to it. It builds a stiffer wheel, builds a stronger wheel. It's gonna last you a lot longer. It's a little bit more expensive, but they say that you get what you pay for. With the RCRs, here's a perfect example. If you can zoom in a little bit close on this, you can see this was Bella's wheel at the Worlds. This was from four years ago, five years ago. When she was racing, someone's pedal caught her spoke. Her snap, her spoke snapped. And as her spoke snapped, it actually ripped right out of the wheel. Started wrapping around her hub. As the spoke ripped out of the rim, wrapping around her hub, the rim stayed true. She was still able to race. She was able to finish world three on a carbon fiber rim that had she had an alloy rim, she would have had all the spokes ripped out, the race would have been done, it would have finished her race. There's a lot of advantages to have a carbon fiber rim when you get to that level of performance. When you're at that highest level and you're really ready to race and you wanna have the best performance, this is what you need. When you're just riding, having fun, a good double wall alloy rim, this is gonna be a great setup for you. It's inexpensive. It's gonna keep you on the track, keep you at the trails, and keep you having fun. So guys, today, I hope you did learn something about your rims and what you're wanting to do and where you wanna go with what you're gonna put on your bike. Are you ready for carbon fiber? Do you need carbon fiber? Is that what you want on your bike? Or are you good with an alloy? A good alloy rim, I mean, hey, you can do some pretty good burnouts with an alloy rim, trust me. We've done a few. So carbon fiber, this is the technology. This is where race cars are going. This is, this is it for a reason. It's got a lot of stiffness. It's got a lot of advantages through the turn. It's a little bit lighter, but that's not the main advantage. That's not why you use carbon fiber on a rim. You use carbon fiber on a rim for the strength factor. You use carbon fiber on a rim for the stiffness factor. You use it for the durability factor. You use it for the longevity factor. You don't use it just for the weight reduction. If you use it just for the weight reduction, you're gonna have a problem. So you need to look at all the factors and consider everything into it. All right guys, thanks for tuning in today. I appreciate it. Before you go, make sure you like, you subscribe. We're trying to keep this going. I hope you learned something about your carbon fiber rims today and your alloy rims today. But make sure you tune in, subscribe, like, but grab your bike, get out to the track, put your rims to use. Go out there and hit the track. See you on the next one.